Welcome to the BA2 Plus Calculator Tutorial for Regression and Correlation Coefficients. I'm Joshua Emanuel. In this tutorial, we will be calculating the slope y-intercept, the correlation coefficient, and the coefficient of determination for this data set shown on screen. Turn the calculator on. Press second data to launch you into the data entry mode. Press second clear work to clear previously done work. Enter the values 5, enter, scroll down, 10, enter, scroll down, 9, enter, scroll down, and 35, enter, scroll down, 13, enter, scroll down, and then 30, enter, scroll down, and 7, enter, scroll down, and finally 15, and enter, and stop. Next, press second stat to reveal the statistics. By default, the BA2 Plus calculator reveals linear regression stats. If your calculator does not display LIN on screen, Press second set repeatedly until LIN is displayed. LIN is now displayed. Now press the down arrow button to display the statistics. N equals 4, indicating we entered 4 pairs of values. Scroll down. The mean of X is 8.5. The standard deviation of sample for x is 3.4157. Scroll down. If this were a population, then the population standard deviation for x is 2.958. Scroll down. It displays the same set of values for y. Now, a is the y-intercept, which is the value of y when x is 0. Scroll down. B is the slope, 2.714, which is the amount of change in Y per unit increase in X. So if X increases by 1, Y will increase on average by 2.714. Scroll down. R is the correlation coefficient, or coefficient of correlation is 0.7789 and it indicates a strong positive relationship between x and y. To obtain the coefficient of determination r squared, square the r value. So squaring the r value gives us 0 0.6067, which is the coefficient of determination. And this means that 60.67% of the variation in y is explained by the variation in x. And about 39.3% is not explained. If you scroll down further, it shows you x prime. And this is just used to compute y value given an x value. So for example, when x is 10, what do we expect y to be using the equation we obtained? So normally you just plug in 10 in for x, but you can also input 10 here, enter, and then scroll down and compute. If x is 10, y will be 26.57. And if you scroll down further here, it shows you the sum of x values that we put in, the sum of squared x values, sum of y, sum of y squared, sum of xy. And that's all the statistics displayed by the BA2 Plus calculator. To return to regular calculator mode, press second data, second clear work, and second quit. And now you're back in regular calculator mode again. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now.